center seat or should I? Can you? Hold up, before you continue the video, I'm officially launching the LP merchandise, my own hometown, Super Gwase, <laughs> and it's this fire design with the LP logo here at the front, as your heart to show me some love, now the back, we have the different course, no one is boring, I know you guys, in my channel we're all about being yourself and expressing who you are, so if you want to support your boy, contact me below, so you can make your patches, I'll be shipping them every Friday, so you can wear them on the weekends, cheers! Hey what's up guys, it's LP here. Today we're looking at a dinosaur in its own right and one of the last standing two testaments of total reliability. The 70 series Total Land Cruiser. The 70 series is one of the last uncivilized land cruisers. That's not to put it down, it was simply designed to work hard. If workhorse was a car, the Total 70 series land cruiser would be it. Whether it's transporting relief food to drought struck areas or moving armies into militia grounds and even NGOs into the hard beat areas. The 70 series is a hard working 4x4 that earns its keep day in, day out, year in, year out. Keeping the owners grounded, the 70 series still has manual front lock hubs and rear lip springs. And not bash Generation Z, you have to change gears yourself. The 70 series does not offer an auto transmission. These vehicles are rarely seen in major towns and you only see them around or when they're getting supplies or passing through to other unruly areas. The model has been produced since 1984. It replaced the 25 year old 40 series as the off-road model for Land Cruiser. Despite major changes in styling and numerous technology, technological updates, the 70 series was designed to retain the off-road capability and durability associated with the 40 series. It's available in many forms, a two-door troop carrier, a two-door and four-door pickup truck, and a three-door and four-door SUV. <coughs> What's up guys, it's LP here. Today, yes, we're doing it different. I can't review this car with sandals or flip-flops. So today I'm wearing it tough and as tough as the Total Land Cruiser we have here with us today. This is the most capable car from Toyota itself. The 70 series Toyota Land Cruiser. Starting from the front, you have this being the facelift of the new face of the Land Cruiser 70 series. The differences are quite minimal, but the front is a new. To tell the difference, you have this strong shoulder line that goes up this way and dips down a bit at the bottom here to conjoin the rest of the car. So how do you know which model you have? So from here, they changed the front bit only, from this fender to the hood, the lights, and some small bits here and there. And they kept everything here, going backwards, similar, all the same. So that's one way to know which, if you have the facelift, or you have the old 7 Series face. You move back, this is the um, single cabin car, so you get just one, you get two doors and a big rear boot. In other cars, in other areas like, let me say Australia or Canada, guys remove the back part and add it in and put their, their own tail boot, yeah? Where you find, as, if, as, as the pictures I'll show you right now, you have guys who will put either a cooking area, more drawers for space or carriage, and even have a tent at the top. You have leaf springs and a ladder frame chassis where you have this sandwich kind of thing where you have the body on the frame. Lastly, you get your step to get into the back. Getting into the, the front. Is it really the front or just getting into the seat of this car? Being that it's so high up, you really have to hold these things to get yourself into the car. Closing the door. It's relatively solid, but it's Toyota. We don't expect much on that, on that solid side of the of things. First things I see is your visor. Your visor are just a visor. There's no vanity mirror on either sides of, of things. It's a simple car at the end of the day. How do I feel getting in? I have loads of headspace. I can have a massive afro here. I can let my hair out and just chill and just be good, and just be okay. It's manual, that means it's generation Z proof. So the seats, the seats are plastic. Is it plastic? The seats are this leather feeling kind of plastic. Let me say it's weatherproof. 
the seats are weatherproof, so it's not really leather, it's not really plastic, it's not really cloth. It's this material that's a mixture of nearly both, really. Um, so the covers have just been put by the owner for maybe comfort and stuff. Your passenger gets the handlebar to hold on when you're going on the rough roads. Because this car, as I said, it's very capable. So you didn't find guys driving such cars on tarmac roads. Because it would be... It will beat the to be the purpose of the car. Your steering wheel is nice and big and thick to to control this massive vehicle on the road. You get your normal things like your AC and your radio system. That's the old radio system and your nice digital clock here. And just shows you how old, how outdated this car is with the clock. So creature comforts and storage. You have your glove compartment. You have your cup holder here. You have a bit of storage at the back of the seats, a bit, and at the and on your dashboard to put your documents, such things. On your door pockets, you don't have door pockets in this car. So door storage out of the window inside the car. You have a lot of empty buttons here in the car to help you put exterior things, either, the, either exterior lights, exterior tank, whatever. Like you can put so many things in this car and customize it. In the vehicle that you have here today, the windows are manual. So you wind up, that's for your AC off and your AC on. <laughs> I do. Pun intended, pun intended. I like the I like the driving position, being that you're in this really quite high commanding position. Your hood is quite far front, but you can see it well or know where the end is, unlike the smaller cars that you can't really know what's behind your dashboard because you sit so low in the car. But for this one, you're quite high up, you see everything and you know how to direct this ship wherever you're going. And yeah, that's for the interior. Let's open the hood and see what's there the front of the car. Basic comfort features such as air conditioning and radio are available. What else do you need anyway? But the 70 series lacks many of the refined and luxury features of the more expensive passenger land cruisers. The 80, the 90, 100 and 200 series. For the boot you get a quite massive boot but one thing i want to show you guys that i haven't seen on any other car till now is this bit for your spare spare wheel your your bed is this plastic thing but now it has a setting no, not, not a setting it has this wheel shape to have your spare wheel on it that's one thing i haven't found with any other pickup till now unless you have the other ones that you have your spare wheel wheels at the back of the car to increase to, to have more wheels to just just in case you have let me say multiple um multiple punctures most seven series line cruisers both petrol and diesel use inline six cylinder engines which we have in this car today the exceptions are the v8 diesel engine introduced in some markets in 207 and the v6 petrol introduced in 209 the bad news is this Toyota will not be upgrading the 70 series to modern safety standards and so the vehicle is likely to end production though the Hilux is Toyota's plan B to these modern safety standards. So why would you pay as much for a vehicle that offers less in just all respects? Simply put, when all those vehicles are dead and gone, the 70 series will still be here. If you're looking to buy a truck with car-like handling and refinement, don't buy one of these. This is a truck with truck-like handling, power and size. And I know, I know, you will say, it is nice to have all the electric gizmos in the vehicle home. But I will tell you this, it's a pain when it all starts to go wrong. But if you are after a machine that you can grow old with, that will take you to the ends of the earth and back, won't cost you a fortune to service and build to last, then I highly recommend you fork out the extra tunes.